What up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, I'm back with another ass. You got YNW Melly and this infamous cell phone is his over jail cell, man. What? Hit the like button. What? Don't go past this part without hitting the like button, man. Hey, man, you got, I want I'm, all y'all right man. now to hit the like button. Let's see what and if you're not man. subscribed, sure I some other subscribe, I to, see, bro. subscribe to the channel, man. Let's get on yes, to sir. it, man. So, y'all know I'm bringing y'all a mini update. We've been covering the Melly case since day one, and now it's day 13. And a couple things unfolded today that was crazy. Um, That's Melly's phone. Yeah, it's Melly's phone. So, Melly, what I'm starting to see is certain things that Melly was doing is, is making it harder for his defense to defend. There's one thing they cannot defend is him on a jail call. Basically admitting that that's his phone. And the same phone that he was admitting to is the same phone that they're saying was at the crime scene, yeah, of man. Of course, yeah. And this is it's just crazy. what I don't get. You know these jail calls that's being recorded. And people, and people be acting like they don't know that. The jail said, they be recording that, bro. The, call, the jail phone, whatever, the system, whatever. They be recording that, bro. And it tell you it's recorded. And people still be talking crazy like they don't know they're recording. Yeah. And this is just what I don't get. You know these jail calls is being recorded. You didn't think for one second, let me not implicate myself on this phone because this phone was at this murder. And, you know, since I did use the phone, that's what a lot of people seem to forget. Melly used the phone after the murders and the phone pinged off of towers that was close to the murder scene. It basically went like this. You have a collect call from Melly. Do -do 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 -do. The dollar thing with the woo the woo. Please note that this phone call is being recorded. Thank you for using <laughs> Wait, the don't hear that. You may begin conversation. My, the phone mine. That's basically <laughs> what I got from it, man. <laughs> oh, you can't you gotta be kidding me, so I'm just letting y'all know right now. I believe that the prosecution has shown without a shadow of a doubt with evidence and Melly's own admission to his mom that that is his cell phone. And if that is your cell phone, that means that was on your person. Because one thing y'all can't forget is that he used the cell phone after the murders committed. He did. And that's how Fredo Bang was able to come get him. Yeah. Because he pent his location and sent it to Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang came and got him. They proved it. The phone his. We ain't denying that no more, right? Another thing that was crazy was before court started, Juan W. Melly's mother got threatened by Juvie's sister. Now, I'm pretty sure this ain't the same sister that Juvie and Bortman have by blood. I'm pretty sure this is one of Juvie's other sisters. And if y'all know, okay. man, they don't care how trial going, bro. They believe Melly is guilty without a shadow of a doubt. They don't care what the fans say. They don't care Boy, how bro. we feel. Why the hell would they care about the fans? Nigga, that's his sister. She probably know what the hell happened. For real. They, they closer to it than the fans. Why would they care about what the fans saying? It's like, niggas that's no going on in the beef. In a city, worry about niggas that's out out of town. You know, like why would they be worried about them? They don't even know what's going on. You feel me? They don't. And one thing we can't do is change how they feel. They believe he did it. So it been things going back and forth between Melly's mom and YW Juvie's father online. And I guess the sister got involved. She said she's gonna harm Jamie, and then Jamie make a bit made a big hoorah. What happened to oh your guns aren't big? You was talking to a man like that. Your guns are bigger than mine, sack chaser. Who have you ever shot? Who have you ever killed? Who have you ever did anything to? That. I mean, That's his you talk to like this that. man who was tremendously bigger than all y'all like you was a gangster. But then when it comes to this woman who I believe you're bigger than and everything, older than, bigger than and everything, okay, he talking about the mom. you made a big hoorah Bought it to the court's attention. Bought it to many lawyer attention. They had to give you security and all that. Like, come on, man. Mm. 
So I found that to be crazy, man. Juan W. Melly's mom, you know, uh, she had to get escorted by security, man. And they will be protecting her 24 hours of the day. And they took Juvie's sister threat very serious. So we'll see how that go. I don't know. But I got another question. 100K track. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yo, dang. Just keeps getting bought up. And to me, I'm not going to beat down the dead horse. It just seems so amazing how your name is just tied into it. All of this, you don't have a charge, you don't have a nothing yet. Exactly. They could drag these people in here and subpoena these people who really don't want to testify for way less than you, and you're just got free. Um, how did you get the phone? Because obviously, Melly's mom had Melly's phone, and when you check the dates of the phone call, it ain't too far from when you turned in the phone to the police. Now, I know you're going to say they put out a warrant for you, but they ain't saying all that in trial. They're just saying it was on your person and they confiscated it. Now, it's mighty funny how Melly calls his mom. They're looking for the phone. Melly calls it's Bob. He says basically it's my phone, the phone number in my phone. Get it out of my phone now. Somehow, shortly after that, shortly, you get the phone. There's another phone call between Melly and you now, and Melly's giving you the passcode to the phone. They're looking for this phone. And then shortly, almost immediately after, okay, Melly think, gave you I the passcode. I think I know what he's trying to say now. I had a little after, moment trying to see what he's talking about. Melly gave you the passcode to the phone. I'm going by what they saying now. This is the dates. I heard the dates of the of messages and everything. I'm going by time out dates. Okay. Shortly after Melly gives you the passcode to the phone, the phone end up in the police hands. To the point where the police was able to put That's the crazy. phone on airplane mode and able to go in it without breaking in it, without having nobody. So it's obvious to me that there was a lock on the phone. How did the detective get in the phone so easy? Oh, hmm. but hey, man. <laughs> Didn't they really the police for real, bro? I thought, like, I didn't know, like, I thought he was just really dragging it, kind of. I didn't really think he was police for real, for real. Like, what? That man got the passcode. As soon as he got that password, he said, hey, man, we got the password. Got the phone, man. <laughs> he just turned that man shit Like, the detective getting the phone so easy. He turned that man shit in. Hmm. It makes you think. Also, um... I know y'all gonna want a short update. Today's not done. I still say it's the same. I, I really go, you know, every day is different because y'all be coming in my comment section capping for this dude, man. What has Melly done for y'all? <laughs> he messed up my life. All Melly has taught me was murder on my mind. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I ain't never been the same since. Oh, I be having evil demonic thoughts. Chad, yeah, music, man. Yeah, yeah and Melly took. I don't trust none of my friends, man. I cut them all off, man. I ain't got time for yellow tape around his body. It's a fucking homicide. His face is on a t-shirt and his family's traumatized. I didn't even be the shooter. He just caught me by surprise. I don't got time to catch one of my partners by surprise. And I'm gone. Bow. You feel what I'm saying? Murder on my mind. He ain't did nothing positive for me. He don't even know y'all. So y'all all in my comment section, all in my Instagram live comment, <laughs> capping for this dude that you don't know. Shut up. It's like it's like but a denial did. thing. I I kind of get where the fans coming from. Y'all don't want that to happen to him, but y'all gotta look at it through a realistic lens, bro. You feel me? Not through y'all bias lens. You feel me? Baby. Ooh. You know I love it when I next to you. 
That song was hard. Riding right. through the 772. <laughs> I heard that song good. But he stole that from Destiny Child. Who? But, uh, the 772. I ain't heard that song in a minute. But he stole that from Destiny Child. But uh, that's pretty much so far the recap of the first part of the trial. Second part is going on, so y'all know I'm going to bring y'all a daily recap. I'll probably, uh, well, a whole recap. I'll probably do it mm, live stream. Or I'll just upload another video because I was able to right, talk man. to one. Y'all but too many times leave it in the comments, man. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, man. I'm out in the count.